Does anyone remember the topics we teased at the beginning of the show? Because I sure don't. Uh, was it the GPU thing? Did I call that out? Ugh. Maybe. You don't think that's cool? It's stupid. Why? Well, why don't you tell the people about it and we'll let them decide. Okay, graphics card with integrated SSD. Asus is reportedly set to launch its version of the RTX 4060 Ti. Weird sentence. Asus has determined that certain graphics cards, which don't fully utilize all 16 lanes of the PCIe interface, can uh, efficiently allocate the remaining lanes for SSD support. Asus has therefore created a variant of the 4060 Ti with an integrated SSD slot in order to take advantage of the remaining bandwidth. The PCB's design enables the storage to be directly attached to the graphics card's cooler. This means that it not only utilizes its GPU as an M.2 drive adapter, but also harnesses the, yeah, that doesn't matter. Based on internal demonstrations, the SSDs integrated with the 4060 Ti were operating at temperatures approximately 10 degrees C lower than they were capable of. Uh, no one cares about that part. Yeah. Is this not cool for a small form factor? Well, I thought it's cool for a small form factor. Yeah, but if you're a small form factor, then why wouldn't you just keep your SSD flush to the motherboard? Have multiple? I mean, uh, what do you mean? Okay, adding fine. expandability to small form factor is I cool. I will admit, I did not think of the small form factor element. Oh, that's the only element. The rest of it's dumb. 100% agree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're on board there. <laughs> okay. All right. No, but for small okay. form factor, right. I think it's actually kind of sick. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, got him. All right. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Got <laughs> Straight up got him. <laughs> straight up got him. So we can both be right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. This is awful. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, okay, so uh. reasons not to do it. <laughs> reasons not to do it, uh, people are asking. <laughs> um you know, if you just have m most motherboards with uh, with a 16x slot and and any kind of meaningful expansion beyond that, we'll have a secondary slot that will run at 8x, so they'll just bifurcate um, if you populate that slot. So you could easily just put an SSD carrier in that. Uh, but in the case of a small form factor build where you can't, there is no other slot to reallocate these lanes to. Yeah, I could see it making sense to put an M.2 slot there. Um, not even necessarily for a drive. Uh, where is it? Mm, can't find it. Dang it. Well. Okay, no, seriously, I have to take this home with me. Uh, so I need it. Is that the thing that was on the table? Yeah. Did you put it on the ground oh, by any yeah, chance? It, it's in the box. Oh, it's in this box? Yeah, you put it back in the box. No, I no, couldn't even see it. Thing. I didn't know he did that. No, 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 no. It's a different thing. It's in an ESD bag. Not this kind of ESD bag, a silver one. Oh. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, where the devil did I put it? Do you want me to run another topic or? No, okay. I'll find it. There it is. All right. Oh. It was in another more different part of his bag. Yeah, I mean, it's a big backpack. What can I say? That's true. Uh, okay, here, That's we're going to go to from. Linus Cam. Um, this is a great example of something that you can do with an M.2 slot oh, yeah. that is not running an M.2 SSD. So in this case, I'm still oh, using yeah. it for storage, but this is a little M.2 carrier board, and it's got a U.2 port on it. This is not like having a, a PCIe card with a SATA port on it because that has a SATA controller. That has that has logic on it. This has no logic. In fact, oh man, yeah, I can see it, but you guys can't because it's, it's front lit instead of back lit and the, the light's there. But you can actually see right through this board. There is oh, well, yeah. nothing to it. It is basically just lanes. Uh, phone flashlight? No, it's fun. Oh, yeah, that would actually work really well. Um... You've got two. Yeah. Got to pick one. Uh, this one. I Soon it'll be the wing. Always choose Note 9. There. So you guys may be able to just... Hello? See right through yeah. this. There you go. Yeah. Look how simple this board design is. It's just wires, essentially. <laughs> because U.2 is just M.2, but in this, in this kind of uh, 
uh, whatever, mini SAS HD or whatever, whatever this connect SFF something, uh, it's in this connector uh, instead of just being uh, uh, fingers on the end of a board. So because M.2 is just a PCIe by four slot, that's all it is. And because U.2 is the same thing, just a PCIe by four slot, then you can also convert the convert an M.2 slot to a full sized PCIe by four slot and put a card in it. Um, so one of the things that we did in the One U gaming systems that are finally done is uh, we used because they're One U. There's no room to install slots, so we used an M.2 to run a 10 gig networking card, PCIe by four. Why not? So conceivably, I, you could use this back of the graphics card, I'm going to call it a PCIe slot instead of an M.2 slot to sure. run a riser or run a, a cable somewhere or run an extension. And then, yeah, you could, run, you could run anything anywhere. So you could run like a capture card. That was a big problem we had when we were trying to build capture PCs in the early days of the company is you couldn't have a GPU and a capture card in an ITX motherboard. Um, whereas M.2 didn't exist at the time. So if you could just run your capture card with an extension from somewhere else and just kind of bolt it to the back of the, back of the case, then, yeah, all right, okay, all right, you know what? I am fully converted on this one. Yeah, I think they're cool. I just think if you get one of these and you're not doing a small form factor PC, like you're you're actually just doing it wrong. I also uh, wouldn't really pay a lot extra for it. And I feel like this is going to be one of those things that just by merit of being low production run. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, it's going to be considerably more expensive and will not make a ton of sense. And you should just get an MATX motherboard if you have more cards you want to plug into your system or something. Yeah. But okay. I still even like just the drive angle though. But anyways. Yeah. Uh was that all the announcement topics? Do you need more drives though? Maybe. 